Wilson drives off the bottom right up oh, in the lip. Yeah. Wow. If Julian doesn't win this heat, then Gabriel can go on and win this event to win the world title. Julian Wilson out of the contest. I just hate losing. It's my least favorite thing about the tour. Italo Ferreira's on to the final, and guess what? The world title is gonna happen at the Bonsai Pipeline. Going back to Oz now, I have a month just focus all my energy into finishing off the year really well. I feel like I've definitely still got a chance. Yeah, you just want to go out with a bang, you know? There's never going to be another 2018, so just try and make it the best and end on a high note. Maui is one of my favorite places in the world to serve and to compete. I feel like this, this connection with the ocean there and the swell, I really want to finish off the year strong. Doing well and winning and winning a title is everything I work towards every single day, and it means the world to me. I definitely want to win a world title. This is driving hard. Big flow in oh, transition. Oh, wow. Jordy having a look at this one. The crowd turning up for their hometown hero. Julian Wilson, wide open pin. Amazing play for Julian Wilson. Meanwhile, Lakey Peterson tagging that one off the top. And Lakey Peterson hangs off for the victory. Can I yell at Dad really quick? This might be really loud. Dad! Dad! When am I gonna surf I feel like again? Always just yelling at each other. Can you just come out to the window? <laughs> Let's just blow it off. Really? I don't know. Are they filming me? <laughs> 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 Give me a shot. Okay. You know what? I'll check in an hour. Okay. All right. Goodbye. <laughs> Just had to, you know, give you that whole experience. Yeah, that's like <laughs> ten times a day. Dad! <laughs> it's been three weeks since Carissa Moore and Lakey Peterson each returned from the Roxy Pro France. Now, after having had the chance to settle in and reconnect with friends and family, they're setting their sights on the final event of their season, the Beach Waver Maui Pro. Lakey Peterson is chasing frontrunner Stephanie Gilmore in the title race, and a win in Honolulu could bring her her first world title. I have to win Honolulu to go to a surf off with Stephanie, and I can't control if she's gonna even lose or not, but I know that I can control if I win and how I approach that, and so I just got back to like a very clear and focused goal for Honolulu, and I don't know, I feel great. I feel confident and just grateful for how fun this year's been. My goal for Maui is to win the event. And then after that, it's to win the surf off with stuff. So, pretty clear goal. Hopefully, I'll hit it. <laughs> For Carissa Moore, the contest at Honolulu has long held a special place in her heart. She's won the event twice, and in 2015, this is where she was crowned world champion for a third time in her career. Now, out of contention for the world title. A win here would help her recapture some of the momentum she had when she last lifted the champion's trophy, sending her into the 2019 season with a spark. I am so excited about Maui. Maui is one of my favorite places in the world to surf and to compete and um, to be able to surf at home in front of my family and friends. And there's just something so special about Maui. I feel like this this connection with the ocean there and the swell. I'm not in the title race. Um, it's definitely, it's like, it's cool because it's the first time in a long time that I'm like, frick, I'm not in the title race. I don't like this. I really want to finish off the year strong. That's important for me just to, just to gain some confidence and find some rhythm for next season. And I'm excited about it. I'm really excited about it. It's now one week before the start of the prestigious Vans Triple Crown of Surfing. For Jordy Smith, out of contention for the world title, a win here would nonetheless be a great finish to his season. Basically, I mean, it's the end of the year now, so 
Yeah, you just want to go out with a bang, you know. You, you, uh, there's never going to be another 2018, so just try and make it the best and um, end on a high, high note. The North Shore has always been a winter destination for the world's best surfers. But for Jordy and his wife, Lyndall, the new owners of a house on this iconic stretch of beach, the setting means even more now. We ended up getting the house about five months ago. Uh, to be honest, like once we closed, I couldn't really believe it. Just myself, personally, I'd never ever dreamed of being able to be in a position to afford a place here in Hawaii. Even like telling my family and my friends and stuff it was pretty uh, rewarding. Here we have my wife, Sandy. <laughs> Babe! Babe! So when can I expect the table to be ready? <laughs> oh, yep, all right. Soon then, eh? This is basically our living situation, construction site, but uh, is what it is. The whole guts of our place is out on the deck. Um, fridge. My boards are basically underneath. You can come look over here, but they're basically just underneath couches and who knows what else. We're gonna have like a big kitchen counter over here. We're gonna have a dining room table here, but I think Lyndall wants to put like a, a built-in seating over there. I'll show you guys our uh, current living situation amongst the tree stumps and the mats and everything else. The back unit at the back of the property. We've put, put a little air, air conditioning in. It's not much, but it's, it's, it'll do for now, you know? It's so gnarly. We spend most of our, our time vacuuming <laughs> just because there's so much dust from the construction site. Lyndall really makes it feel at home. So that's uh, all you really need is a bed. Just looking out, I can't even believe it, you know? It's been four days since Julian Wilson's loss in Portugal, and though a win there would have catapulted him to a near tie in the title race against frontrunner Gabriel Medina, Wilson still has one final chance to compete for the world title at the upcoming Billabong Pipe Masters. Going back to Oz now, I'll have a month. I'll train and sort of prepare specifically just for pipeline now. Are you gonna take a beater? Um, yeah. Unlike other surfers, already heading to Hawaii to compete in the van's triple crown of surfing, Wilson has opted to prepare for the season's last event from his home base of Newcastle, even with the prospect of less than ideal training conditions. That could be kind of fun. I feel like from when we were 10 years old to now, he hasn't changed a bit. He's definitely accomplished a lot of amazing things, but yeah, he's pretty much a Joe Blow, Aussie Bogan from Coolum. <laughs> As for the rest of the year, it's not over till it's over. I guess so far this year I have a lot to be proud of, just to be where I'm at, but there's some exciting growth still to be had, I think. What is failure to you? Failure is an opportunity to have a look at yourself, turn over those rocks that you don't want to turn over, build from again and, and create a better version of yourself. It's been quite a journey so far, but it's definitely not over. Should we get some lunch? With the contest in Maui only a few weeks away, the tensions rising for Lakey Peterson, number two in the standings, set to compete for a world title shot. She'll be here on the North Shore with her fiance Tom until the contest, knowing the final test of the season will provide the ultimate verdict. Is this how it looked earlier? Um, no. It's weird though, it looks jumbly, but I feel like when you get out there, it's pretty fun. It's more fun when you go out. Yeah. Okay. I think we'd have fun, we should just surf. 
coming over here, all in all, it's just kind of to get used to boards from Maui and get the distractions of home kind of away and, and able to focus and surf and feel good. I'm definitely gonna ride something bigger than my shortboard. Yeah. I might just ride a 510, which is two inches, just cause. It's kind of fun. Yeah. I, I love to go surfing, whether it's in a contest jersey or in front of my house. And I love the ocean so much. I love the challenge it brings. I love that like every single wave ever is different in some way. I think for me that's been the hardest thing to figure out about surfing is just like reading the ocean. It's been so hard for me to figure that out, but I've loved trying to figure it out because it's like this everlasting challenge. And you can't force it, you can't really teach yourself it. You just have to like have experience in the water. It's funny, like, I serve every single day, practically, of my life, and I love it every day I go, but some sessions, it's just extra special. For instance, last night, I just had so much fun. I got to finally surf waves with a little bit of power and have a bit more speed, and I felt like I was surfing great, and I just had the best time. It's so fun out there. Like, maybe the top five surfs of my life just then. That was so much fun. Very happy. My body feels good, my mind feels good, and yeah, I feel ready to go. Are you famous or something? Um, no, actually my daughter's probably a little more on the famous side. Who's your daughter? Oh, just a surfer, Carissa. Just a surfer? Yeah, yeah, just a surfer. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you guys filming? Her surfing? Oh, just, yeah, her surfing. Awesome. Yeah. Well, you look famous. Oh. <laughs> uh, I was telling him, I was like, what movie does he come up with? I know he's on a movie. I just follow my kid around. There you go. Chris Moore coaches his daughter, which means he knows better than anyone what Carissa needs to do to perform her best. He was with her through all three of her world titles, and though he took a brief hiatus from coaching during the first half of the season, He's back at her side, heading into Maui. I mean, I, I see a couple things. We'll go 50-50 on the rights then. 50% uh, 50 just getting like a solid turn that you do at Honolulu. And then 50% um, try and throw something. You know, the whole journey we've had together, and I think a few years ago, after the third world title, I think we were both like, okay, like now what? Like, are we just supposed to keep going? And like, it's it, to win a world title is, like you have to do things better than everybody else. You have to do things differently. You have to want it and do everything more. Ever since I was little, it was just motivating to go to the beach to like hopefully do a turn good enough to get a thumbs up from my dad. Your first left, that one was probably your best left, but that one had the most face to it, I think. So just, pu just push your first turns. If you fall, you fall. And so, I don't know, it's just nice to have him back and to know that he's all in and helping me become better. How was the two turn right? That was, uh, yeah, that was excellent. I like it. Okay, all right. And I didn't mind your falls either. I thought, um, well, there was I thought you were pushing I it. Well, there was and then there's kind of a guy paddling. And yeah, so I saw that. There was a, a little bit. Yeah, I, I was like, saying that too. Uh, That's all right. No, it was good. There it is. In you go. The Billabong Pipe Masters is still a month away. Oh. And though training is paramount for a surfer, finding outlets to release the tension can be huge as well. Yeah, we are at the Merriweather Golf Club, about two minutes from the beach. We're out here this afternoon with some friends, just having a bit of fun. I'm addicted to the game, love the game. I personally really enjoy golf because it takes my mind off, off surfing and have to focus on the golf course in order to play half decent. We went out for an afternoon game. It was it was comedy. All right, Basti, show us what you're made of, mate. Deadly swing, watch. 
far again. <laughs> I just think it's a great way to switch off and, and not be taking a toll on your body and um, staying fresh and sharp to compete when you need to. Oh. <laughs> they go left or right, bro? Straight down, I think. Oh, I, my. It actually is normally quite a bit more serious than that because I like try way too hard and take it way too seriously mostly. We probably made about 25 course violations, I think. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't. You need to the beer. But hey, we had a lot of fun. <laughs> oh! It's a bit of an outlet for me. And just, yeah, I, I love hitting a good good shot. Wow. Wow. Shot well done. Are you kidding me? How do you keep them so straight? They're not always straight, Russ. They're not always straight. <laughs> These waves are just a little bit small to like compare for Honolulu. The only difference between this and Honolulu is that just it's more convecting, right, at Honolulu? Mm hmm. Okay, what are you doing on this one? I don't know. Not too bad. Do you like it? <laughs> it's a little pop. Those are my favorite sections. <laughs> They're like a little bit crumbly, but that was clean. Super clean. I like how you're going for a grab and then you're like, no. With Maui, it's, um, if it's really big, then this is something that's not gonna come into play as much, but Maui can be small too. It's fickle, so, on a small day, you can definitely, it turns into something a lot closer to this. I definitely like that turn. Mm -hmm. I think it's like something a little different, right? Mm -hmm. Than what the judges are norm, you know, normally see. One of the main things that I kind of changed mid-year after J-Bay was I brought dad back on board. I even told him the other day because he was a little distracted and I, I mean, I'm, I'm all in. I'm so excited right now. I'm really motivated. And I was like, dad, like, I, I need you to be motivated because I'm motivated to impress you. I'm motivated to get your validation. I'm, I'm motivated. I need you to meet that motivation because we're a team. Like, that's you and me. And like, what's different now than what was before was that like, I think I let my ego really get involved with our conversations. And one of my biggest goals is, okay, when I talk with my dad, when, I, when he's coaching me, I have to remove my ego. I think I'd say the only thing to think about would be the possibility of just going into finishing the wave after this turn. So I'd say just maybe just a little more explosive right okay. there. I mean, what do you think? No, I agree. Say if I have a bad session, if he's giving me a hard time, I need to embrace it and I need to compartmentalize that this is not saying I'm a bad kid or a bad human. It's just, he's trying to help me. So I think I've actually like, I think it's starting to click in my head. And, but for the longest time, I think I just heard, you know, you're not good enough. I just heard the bad stuff and instead of hearing like the loving and like the encouragement side. So I don't know, it should be interesting. I'm, 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 I've really been enjoying my relationship with my dad. When you have someone that believes in you and believes in the journey sometimes more than you believe in yourself, especially when things get tough, that's when you need those people the most. On the next episode of All In, the men make final preparations for the Billabong Pipe Masters. When that moment does present itself, it's all about the work done prior to that moment. Gaining those percentages allows me to surf free. I'm excited for what's to come in the next couple of weeks. It's kind of like the deciding factor. Three guys have a shot at winning the title. It's come down to us. The women get set to leave Oahu for the final event of their season the Beach Waver Maui Pro. There's just this feeling like I'm not done yet and like I still have stuff to offer. I'm going to follow that inner voice. Surfing's my job and what I love and you have the opportunity to be the best in the world at whatever you do. 
I do want it more than ever. 